Hello lovely people, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is something I have been meaning to do for quite a while now. It's been something that I have been saying I will do for quite a while. So today I'm gonna to be bringing you an updated bookshelf tour. I apologize if at any point in this video there is a dog barking in the background. My neighbors have just got a puppy very cute but it's a little bit yappy so if you hear that that's what that is. I have been living here for nearly two years now which is wild to me and in that time I have definitely made a lot of changes to my home. I've kind of adapted how I like to live and how I can change my space to suit that. Obviously this is the first time I've lived alone and this is the first place I have ever bought and adapting kind of making that work for me has been a real process over the last two years and in that time I have changed my bookshelves a little bit. I haven't changed the location of any of them, actually that's a lie. This used to be over there but I can't remember when I did my bookshelf tour where it was but I definitely like it a lot better here. I like that there's a whole backdrop here going on it just it's a lot more functional so I can't remember what the OG version of the bookshelf tour had, but there will be new books added from the last bookshelf tour, there will be rearranged shelves, there's a lot more plants now. Generally it'll just be a fresh look at my bookshelves. I'm not going to talk about each book individually because we would be here for a very long time, but I do pan across every shelf so you can see the spine of every book individually, I'm just not pulling them out because yeah we would be here for quite a while. But I really hope you enjoy this video, please do give this video a thumbs up if you do. I'm gonna let bookshelf voiceover Beth take it away now. Okay, let's get into the bookshelf tour. So I have edited this footage with obviously with no sound at the moment. And I'd like to apologize for the amount of shaky clips I have in this footage because I feel like I thought I was filming it really stably and sometimes I am and other times I am not. So I'd like to apologize in advance for the actual filming quality of this, but I hope that you enjoy it and I hope you like having a little look behind the shelves that I have, well not literally, we're not actually going to go behind the shelves, but you know, a little deeper look into what's on Beth's bookshelf. I have nine bookshelves in my flat, I have a lot in my lounge, I have some in my office, and I have some in my bedroom, so we're going to be going into all of those rooms today and just having a look at the books on them. As I said, I'm not going to be pulling each book out individually, but we're just going to be going through what books I have, what the themes are with each shelf, and kind of if there's any stories behind things. There's there's basically books scattered everywhere, and I want to be able to show you all of them as a whole in this updated bookshelf tour. Five of my nine bookshelves are in my lounge, so we're going to be spending a lot of time here on the tour today. There's also a lot of plants in my lounge as you can see. This is my umbrella plant, it's next to my monstera who is called Mary Shelley. I have just decorated all of my shelves with plants and I couldn't be happier, I feel like it's the perfect place for them to just dangle down and look very pretty. Pride of place in my lounge is my Elizabeth Lim and S.A. Chakraborty Fairy Loot editions. These are also accompanied by my Blogosphere Award in the middle there, which I am very proud of. Also in a Pride of Place slot, I have the Poppy War trilogy, which I absolutely love, especially these Illumicrate stenciled edges. I think they're stunning. I've got my Stephanie Garber books here as well, some Erin Morgenstern, and some Madeline Miller on the end there. We have my Sarah J Mass shelf, which is kind of framed by having Kingdom of Ash in the middle there. I love having the mix of editions here. I really, really like the hardback for these books, and I just think these are kind of a nice staple piece on the bookshelves. They kind of stand out quite nicely, I think, and just work very symmetrically with Kingdom of Ash in the middle there. I don't really know what this one is, but we have a couple of Sarah J Mass spilling over. We have Priory. We've got some mix of Sylvia Moreno Garcia, Chloe Gong, Carrie Maniscalco. I don't really know what this one is, but I like it. I know what this one is though. This is my VE Schwab shelf and oh, I just, Schwab's writing is phenomenal, so fantastic. I love all of these editions, all of these books are absolutely spectacular and they just sit pride of place for me to stare at them all day because they're beautiful. Then we have the kind of miscellaneous slash translated slash I don't really know what kind of historical fiction shelf on the bottom here. I don't really know what this one is, but there's some kind of logic in my brain, I promise. It's it's just kind of an amalgamation of, of books that I, I want on that bottom shelf. <laughs> then we have got, again, another kind of amalgamation of things. It's kind of hardback fantasy with a mix of other things in there as well. Again, it makes sense in my head. These shelves are kind of my main two shelves. So these are where I have like what I consider my main quote unquote books. So yeah, this is the kind of collection I've brought together that accompany these main shelves. Then we have the Fallen Kingdom shelf. <laughs> and misc. I basically have got random other things in here as well, such as some TJ Klune, we have Axie O, Alexi Harrow, there's just a bit of a mix going on here, a bit more Carrie Maniscalco, again, 
these are all just a, a blur together. This, this is my Dark Academia shelf. This one kind of makes a bit more sense to me. This one I recently assembled together and I have tried to get all the books that I think touch within the Dark Academia genre onto one shelf and I kind of love it. This shelf is a bit of a mix of faves and also just hardbacks that I think are really beautiful or hardbacks I'm really excited to read. For example, I haven't yet read The Beautiful on that series, but I have read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, I've read Cloud Cuckoo Land, Strange the Dreamer, and those are ones that I have really, really enjoyed. I think that this has to be my favourite shelf. It would be wrong of me to say any other shelf, it's my Tolkien shelf. I have a lot of special editions on this shelf, a lot of art, a lot of bookmarks and pins and things, just like little bits that kind of make up this shelf and I love it. I love this shelf so much, Tolkien's world is just so expansive and brilliant and I like that I've got all the different editions to be able to glance upon on this shelf. I've also got my thriller shelf on the top here. This has kind of a mix of YA and adult thrillers or just anything that I kind of consider to have that kind of mystery crime whodunit aspect to it. I really enjoy reading these kind of books, I think they're really fun, they're really fast paced and just always find I can never put them down which for me is a sign of a fantastic book so I really enjoy having a dedicated shelf for books like that. Then we get to the shelves that are all blocked by my plants, but we shall try our best to get to them anyway. This is again another mix of different types of books. There's not often entirely genre themed shelves that I have going on, but there is a couple in my lounge. But there's kind of just a mix of hardback and paperback on these shelves. Because they're covered by plants, sometimes I do find it a little bit more tricky to get to some of them. But this shelf here is just a random paperback shelf. This is the top shelf, so this is one of the more difficult ones to get to, but there's kind of a mix of series like the Lunar Chronicles, I've got Laura Woods books, which I adore, and then I still for some reason have the Miss Peregrine books as well there. Again, this is very much miscellaneous still. We've got the Pages and Co series, I've kind of got a bit of a middle grade thing going on on the left here, and then we have my Neil Gaiman books, which I love and are fantastic. My Amy McCaw books, again, love, fantastic. These are again kind of spilling over from the other shelves. These are hardback, not exclusively fantasy, but hardback fantasy and kind of maybe a thrillery mix in there as well. We have Portrait of a Thief, which is fantastic, the Master of Sorrow series, which I need to read the second one of. Generally, there's just a mix of nice hardback books here. Some of them are special book box editions as well, which I think are really pretty. Back to one of my themed shelves. Again, this is my mythology themed shelf. I love this shelf. I may move this because this is partly now covered by plants, but I love the mix of things I have on here. I love the candles that I have on here. I just think they look really great and everything just complements itself. So yeah, this is also one of my favorite shelves. I think I just, I really like how it all fits together. And then these two bottom ones are complete miscellaneous. We have tall arcs here, which is what, what's on the right here. And then we just go completely random, but this gives you a look at the different kinds of books that I have in my collection. and the kind of different things I like to read as well. Obviously I haven't read all of these, but they're pretty much all ones I would at some point like to get to if I can ever defeat my ever-growing TBR. Again, this is very much miscellaneous. This is this shelf is very hidden by the plants, unfortunately, but we have we have a good mix here. The Family Tree by Sherry S. Tepper. Absolutely fantastic, completely underrated. Okay, now we have the books next to my sofa. I have attempted to create some kind of theme here. There's meant to be a rainbow shelf, there's meant to be book about bookshelf and a witch shelf, graphic novels, classics. I don't know how good a job I've done, but you can you can let me know what you think. This is my attempt at a rainbow shelf. I wanted to do a two-tiered one, and I kind of like how it turned out. It's a bit of a messy rainbow shelf, and it does bug me that the books are in different height order, and also I've had to split some series up. However, it does have a rainbow effect when you stood far, further back and I like it against the yellow wall so I kind of think kind of it works I, I don't know this is my book about books shelf so we have a lot of Carlos Rosaf on here who is a fantastic author the shadow of the wind is amazing but this is just generally like the theme of this shelf is just books about wonderful literature and they're all fiction books as well this is my witch shelf which looks a little bit bare I think I need some decor going on here but this is a new shelf that I've recently formed and I'm quite excited about this one come October time. We have my classics shelf with my little stack of the penguin editions that I am slowly collecting and reading. I quite like having this shelf because there's so many different editions and I just it makes me excited to read and or try to read more classics. My graphic novel shelf with my beautiful fairy loot heartstopper editions. This shelf is bursting. I need to expand this but I just haven't done it yet. This is a horror shelf which I created last October and I am very excited for this October to get back to reading some of these. White Smoke, 
was fantastic read that last year and it absolutely blew me away cannot wait to get to some of these other ones as well and then there's this shelf which is just miscellaneous i th this one i just i mean i don't even know same with this one this one is completely blocked by half of my sofa and cushions so this one is just a real random mix of stuff something like house of leaves which i will one day read this is my hardback non-fiction that i've had pretty much since as long as i can remember this collection i i love a lot of these they remind me of my childhood and they're just interesting books to have around here we have a little corner in my lounge which is where i have my dining table that i literally never eat on but hey ho this is kind of environmentally nature themed books and i like the kind of little aesthetic i have going on in the corner there sorry i'm talking so fast i feel like the camera is moving quicker than my mouth is but now we are in my office so these are the shelves that are behind me when i am streaming or when i'm on live shows i really really like how these shelves look i'm really happy with how it's turned out in here i just think the fairy lights and the way that I've got the plants hanging down. I just think it works really well in here as a background and I feel like I've curated it to be a space that I'm really, really happy to have behind me as that view. So in here we have got my Sarah J Mass paperbacks on top of the bookshelf. I didn't used to put things on top of my bookshelves, which seems very weird to me now, looking back at how bare they must have looked, but now I have all the hanging plants and different books that kind of overflow from the other shelves and I just think it, it works really well to decorate the tops of them. So we kind of again have miscellaneous hardbacks in here. I, there's a lot of miscellaneous hardbacks. I don't really know what the theme is, to be honest. These are just ones that didn't quite make the cut to get into the spaces on the lounge shelves. But yeah, we have a couple of, of different random ones forming a mix here. We have more of the taller arcs in here. Again, they just kind of make sense having them all in one shelf because then they can all be the same height. And I do like height order apart from with the messy rainbow shelf but yeah there's here's some of my my taller arcs that i have this shelf is a mix of different non-fiction books and my hamilton the revolution book as well i've i've got a little bit of a theme going on here in the corner with some hamilton stuff but yeah generally it's just my non-fiction stuff and one of my uk ya ba awards i have these little wax melts that say books nest that my friend got me and i absolutely love them won't melt them because they're too pretty then we have my feminist shelf here with another one of my uk ya ba awards i love having this feminist shelf behind me because it's just always there in calls and in live shows as well so yeah I, I really enjoy this shelf a lot i don't know what this one is i'm gonna be honest we're just random again but we have things like alexandra bracken we have bridget kemmerer and morgenstern we just kind of have a little bit of a mix same with this although there is kind of a theme of non-fantasy books in the kind of stack on the left here so we have like beth o'leary sarah winman and then i think that one of them there is a fantasy these ones again shorter hardbacks because they do not fit in many places it, the heights of these hardbacks i wish they would all just be the same height that would really really help for consistency's sake i think then we have my poetry shelf here which is again a little bit of a jumbled mess to be honest but i like having all of these here as a collection as well and my miscellaneous bottom shelf we're not going to even look at that too close because it's just a mess the top part of this is meant to be my tbr trolley the bottom part i i don't even know what that middle part is i think it's just books i don't know where to put and then there's kind of some middle grade on the bottom there for ava when she stays around but yeah it's it, it, again one of those things that makes sense in my mind with the organization we then have the bookshelves in my bedroom these are rainbowed by my sister she did them when i moved in because she felt a little bit emotional about me moving out and wanted something to be able to focus on and do so she rainbowed all of the books in here for me and i think she did a great job so i've kept them exactly as she did them and just adding more books in as i get them a lot of these are contemporary books this is kind of my darker mystery type of section on top here that i have completely covered in plants there's a lot of plants in my bedroom yeah a lot of these ones are contemporary not all definitely not all in fact a lot of the ones on this shelf aren't contemporary but there is well there's a decent mix when i'm looking at them but i i really really like having the rainbow shelves i just think they look really pretty and also this is like when i'm sat in my bed i'm facing these bookshelves and it's just such a nice view to be able to see them all like that and have this really bright colorful view in the mornings i love big bold bright colors and book spines like this make me incredibly happy because they just encompass everything happy about nice bright book spines this again this shelf is a bit of a miscellaneous one it has cassandra clare books that i haven't finished any of the series of and then just this random stack of books here before we go back into the second round of rainbow shelves so then we have the blues to pinks of the rainbow shelves which again just continue on being 
kind of contemporary, some fantasy. I just, I don't know. Honestly, if I get a book with a bright coloured spine, it goes on this shelf immediately. I seem to be getting a lot more darker spined books at the moment that don't fit onto these shelves. As soon as I get anything colourful enough to go on these shelves, I put them right there because these are the, the shelves that have the most amount of room for new books on them. As you probably know, I think sex positivity is massively important. I think it's really important to break taboo around sex. So of course I have a stack of sex related books next to my bedside table. I think these are great and I would highly advise them to everybody. I also have my little K O'Neill section up here and down here I just have my kind of random bedside table collection. And that is all of the books in my flat. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed that bookshelf tour. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you had a favourite shelf. You can also subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. And link down below, I have a link to my online digital download shop and also my Patreon where I do lots of extra content. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling and stay positive.